My biggest experience of academic failure was probably second year, and um, I was, I had gone into economics because I thought that I should do something practical, and um, I had been really interested in the area of international development, and uh, I had hoped that maybe I would learn things in, in economics that would be useful to the world, and um, but what I found was I was, I was just not interested, and I was making it very hard to do the work. So I was actually crashing in second year and thought that I probably shouldn't be in university, and um, I debated quite seriously dropping out. And, um, and then I, what I did was uh, I went and talked with a student advisor, um, somebody who would be like the equivalent of a student advisor in the Faculty of Arts and Science here. And, and she was wonderful. She was actually incredibly helpful. She told me, um, she gave me some options. One was a, a late withdrawal without penalty. And um, so I had to accept that that wasn't the right thing for me to do, to, to continue with the courses, and that the right thing maybe was to, to scratch that year. And, um, and in the meantime, I had started getting to know people through student politics uh, who were really excited about their courses, and they would talk to each other about their courses, and they, had, they, they would talk to each other about their readings in their courses. And so I thought, I, I want to take those courses, and I found the courses that I was actually interested in and, and eventually switched into politics as a major. And clearly for me, that was, that was the right thing to do. You know, so it shaped me in terms of, absolutely in terms of what I've chosen to do, but also I learned uh, more about myself through that experience than I would have if I just stayed on the path of I should do something practical. I, what I learned was that I had some aptitudes and strengths and, was, and that I was right to follow them. If a person fails, I think what they're best doing is um, trying to figure out sort of for themselves what happened around that, probably getting some advice and some assistance. So if they have a teaching assistant or if they want to talk to the professor um, uh, to find out where they went wrong. I mean, it's, it's not always intuitive what you're supposed to do. And sometimes it's that you didn't understand the instructions and sometimes it's that you didn't give yourself enough lead time. And sometimes that conversation can be very helpful to avoid it in the future.